guys still good morning here in Azerbaijan. Yesterday, I've been in ministry and ministry not giving permits any company in Azerbaijan. I don't know. Maybe this year they will not open hunting, unfortunately. Uh, Vesto, don't buy any ticket. I don't know how will be this year. Then we will see for the next year if we will be not hunting this year. But situation that for now, for the present moment, is not hunting in Azerbaijan. This is situation right now, brother. I'm really sorry, but it depends on the government, not on me. We have planned hunting trip almost for two years. First, we wanted to hunt Dagestan tour in Azerbaijan. But unfortunately, tour hunt in Azerbaijan was closed. We changed our hunting location and booked through Global Safari Azerbaijan IVAX hunt in Kazakhstan. Let's hope that we can still hunt Dagestan tour one day as well in Azerbaijan. plan was that Kalvi is hunting uh, without us and uh, we are hunting with Varmo together. So right now we will separate I believe. We won't understand what they are saying but I guess it's this, pa this place where we're gonna go opposite side each other. So let's see. Huh? Yeah. Da vai galbi. This place where we will put up our camp, and uh, after that, I believe we're gonna eat something, and then we will go and rest because this trip up here took something like almost four hours ride with horses, and uh, tomorrow we will go and start hunting. In the morning, when we will wake up, then we start hunting and uh, look around these mountains here. Right now we can't see because of the fog and uh, clouds. So, yeah. And uh, if we don't find any ibex, then prob probably we will pack our camp. Oh, this is cool. Small accident. There was a, some gas inside this bag, but went a little bit off, and uh, uh, fire was near and uh, got it. Oh. Okay, everything will be fine, I believe. Nothing is damaged. So, yeah, this is it.
so fast uh, that we wasn't able to put the cameras on and uh, there was three ibex uh, the distance was to 328 or something like that but the uh, angle shot angle was uh, very deep it was later we calculated and it was 36 degrees so I probably make wrong adjustments and uh, shut over so my mistake and uh, I hope we will find another one and right now the plan is that we put the camp together and uh, back to the horses and uh, one hour ride this valley is there and try to find the new ones okay. We met with Calvi, we put all three together camped here and uh, made quite nice lunch and after that <coughs> what is right now we are going again hunting so weather is perfect and uh, let's see how it goes guys it was something like I don't know seven eight minus degrees in the night it was quite cold to sleep but right now is planned that we are packing all stuff again together and uh, move down to the mountains because they are not ibexes are not right now up they believe that they are somewhere down so now we will go and uh, try to find them lower altitude somewhere now we separated again i and varmo is going one direction and kalvi is going another direction Christo is still somewhere i don't know where nobody actually knows but hopefully he have also a very nice experience. Something like 400 or 500 meters away was uh, about 20 ibex. Few ones was inside, very nice ones. And uh, we will sneak in. Warmo will will be the first shooter. So let's see how it goes. Today was first first night when it wasn't cold to sleep. 
And uh, it is right now third hunting day. What is right now starting? And uh, today is my turn because yesterday Varmo got his trophy. The guides have already prepared this mount skin and uh, also the skull. first shot it wasn't uh, great then he started running back up with other ibexes and uh, I made another one another one and another one so then my uh, pocket was empty and now we are just looking this guy we, we already came down all the way that uh, we found blood uh, but uh, the the road where the ibex went it was so di difficult and uh, dangerous that uh, we already quit that oh, fuck it's it's gone and uh, I I won't be able to get it and uh, then we crossed I will show you I made first shot there uh, then we already came here where we are right now and my guide who have actually eagle eyes <laughs> I believe he just looked over his shoulder and uh, saw that uh, my my ibex is laying there but we don't have bullets anymore now we are waiting when the other guides are coming and pick up my backpack and uh, bring me the bullets so we will wait the ibex is still there uh, hiding he's obviously wounded and uh, i have to finish this job I, I, I really am sorry that uh, he has to suffer because of me, but this is hunting. Okay guys, it's done. Uh, 
really big thanks to Ashif and all these guys. And also one guy is there who is looking the horses and this guy bring me the new bullets. <laughs> but anyway, this trophy is down, but <coughs> it's so, so far away and up. I don't know how we will get it, but I, I really love it. This Kazakhstan is super, 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 super. Thanks, my friend. I became a hunter because of my grandfather. Uh, he was a great hunter and they teach me how to hunt, how to read the tracks and everything like that. And uh, uh, I don't have a grandfather What's anymore. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, wait a second. Uh, but uh, yeah. one, three, one. But uh, every time when I when I have some very special hunt, then I'm uh, <coughs> thinking very much of uh, my grandfather. <laughs> and uh, today also I <coughs> speak many times with him. And, uh, I think that uh, he made this trip uh, so great for me. Thanks, grandfather.